Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. I'm Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming, and I got some sweet little spoilers for you today. Now, these are straight out of the Planeswalker decks that are going to be coming out here in just a couple months. Let's take a look at them. First up, we got Royal Copy. He's actually going to be, this is one of the cards that will be in actual Guilds of Ravnica. So, this wary Okapi is going to be found in those packs as well. It's a 3 2 of Vigilance. There's not much more to say about this card. Rouse to Tech Caster. It's a four drop uncommon creature via Sheena Wizard. It's got the Trample, uh, which means. I, I, that's, you know what's crazy? That they're actually putting what Trample does on cards. But then again, it's not that crazy if you think about it, because if you were a brand new player to this game, or you're new right now, you might not know what Trample is. So for those of you unaware of what Trample does, one of the oldest abilities in this game, or mechanics, I should say, this creature can deal excess combat damage to that player or planeswalker it's attacking pretty sweet so for any damage left over let's say he blocks with a 2-2 a, a two, two, this 3-3 three, three is going to deal the two damage to that creature if you so choose so and then one damage will go to the opponent whenever rouse static caster attacks if you control Ral planeswalker rouse it's a caster gets plus one plus zero for each card in your hand until end of turn pretty neat that is not actually too shabby uh, for the planeswalker decks Vraska's Stone Glare. Vraska, oh yeah, it's a six dropper. Destroy target creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. You may search your library hand. I'm sorry, you may search your, your library and or graveyard for a card named Vraska Regal Gorgon. Reveal it, which we will in a second here, and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Pretty basic. Ral Caller of Storm. Six drop new walker. A hype is real. Plus one ability, draw a card. You can never go wrong with drawing a card. For any of you that are new to the game, card advantage is typically the number one reason people win because they have more cards to work with, more creatures, more spells. Uh, the more spells, the better, really. So it's plus one, draw a card is nice. It's minus two. Color of Storm deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets. And for minus seven Planeswalker counters, draw seven cards. Color of Storm deals seven damage to each creature your opponent's control. Pretty sweet board wiper and replenishing of the hand. I, I do enjoy this card. Of course, the casting cost on all these Planeswalker deck Planeswalkers is typically higher than normal, which makes them see rather limited play. Rouse Dispersal, five drop. Instant, return target creature to its owner's hand. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Color of Storms. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you, sh if you search your library this way, shuffle it. Attendant of Raska, uncommon three drop. Zombie soldier, when attendant of Raska dies, if you control Raska Planeswalker, you gain life equal to attendant of Raska's power. Mm, there's worse things out there. Vraska, Regal, Gorgon. Look at this beast. Seven drop planeswalker. That is steep. I do apologize about the clarity on this one, but it's the best photo I can get so soon. Plus two. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature. That creature gains menace until end of turn. Not bad, but I mean, could we do like put a plus two, plus two counter on up to one target creature? I mean, like, come on, really? It's a seven dropper. It's minus three is destroy target creature. Of course, that's amazing. All these Gorgons like to kill things. They must have had like a bad upbringing or something. Uh, minus 10 for each creature card in your graveyard. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. That is pretty overwhelming. Um, it's going to take you a few turns, though, to get to that minus 10. And good, goodness gracious, you better protect this sucker. Uh, it's five loyalty to come out with, so uh, it seems like a fun card to play, but man, they really screwed up by making this a seven drop, I, I definitely think. I mean, a six drop, okay. A five drop, this thing would see so much play, it's stupid. Uh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think on these? Are you, are you excited for them? Are you going to run them? Uh, they're, they're strictly for Planeswalker decks, um, <clears throat> um, these new cards that are coming out here, so uh, good luck. Um, and yeah, of course, you can take them into Modern and all that fun stuff. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. And, and uh, yesterday, also, I dropped a real sweet video. It's a contest. Um, all you got to do is like, share, and subscribe yesterday's video, which is a nasty deck tech um, that we go like 
just almost infinite amount of uh, triggers in the match. It, it's it's brutal, and it's pinning two very similar decks uh, against each other, and and it's just a heck of a lot of fun. I hope you guys check it out. It's yesterday's video. I'll leave the link right here for you. Just click on it. There you go. As always, guys, PLA.